At the uh, little further along uh, westward on G Street at the corner of E in front of the uh, storage place and across from the restaurant is a very large walnut tree which is being hacked away at and um, as you know I'm a tree hugger. Uh, I wanted to bring to your attention that the city of Vancouver is redoing their See, you always know these things. I, I'm just telling you what you already know. But I don't know who owns that land or who is hacking away at the tree or if they've finished hacking. It looks wounded at the moment. Isn't there some way we could control who hacks trees? Do we have those in the books? I don't know that we do. Now, can we in the future, most likely? I know I was nodding yes because I think Vancouver's was on the front page of the paper this morning and I can remember that far back, so. What was on the front page? Vancouver's uh, tree ordinances. Oh, and yes. Well, anyway, should you be in that area, you might look up and see, please. Thank you. Michael. Uh, good evening, my name is Michael Rothschild. I live at 736 Sunset Ridge Drive in Washougal, and uh, thank you for allowing me to speak again tonight. Uh, at our last meeting, city council meeting, three weeks ago tonight, I sat and listened quietly. I didn't speak, I just listened uh, about the uh, drastic rate increases that we are gonna be having for uh, water, sewer, and stormwater fees. And, uh, and I, I listened to, I think, all or most or all of you, the city council members, uh, address this issue. Um, and I, by the way, I find it interesting that uh, at least two or three of our city council members would describe themselves as conservatives. And uh, I'm curious to know what uh, is conservative about drastically increasing a basic service rate for the residents of our city. Uh, I heard it described as a, quote, adult thing to do. Uh, now, I think. Uh, looking at the, uh, not only the human, but financial negative ripple effects uh, that would often, I think, uh, offset the increased revenue from the increased tax would have been the, quote, adult thing to do. Uh, these negative effects uh, will be uh, less money to spend on local businesses of people. I've, I've known, I've heard even our city council members here talk about how pleading for people to spend more money at our local businesses, well, obviously, if people have less money to spend because of these increased taxes, they won't have as much money to spend on their local businesses, uh, too. Um, also, businesses, a lot of them will not want to locate here from, from outside of Washougal. Some businesses in Washougal might decide to leave because of the drastic rate increases of these basic services. There'll be uh, likely be more foreclosures. That means vacant homes. We have some around where we live. I mentioned this before you will get no revenue from a vacant home. That can't be a, a, a positive thing. Uh, just an example of this, coincidentally, in the Colombian newspaper on Sunday, November 21st, uh, just an example of, of this negative uh, effect from an a increased, uh, well, these type of things going on. Uh, there's an article, Custom Medicaid Threatened Real Pain. That's the headline of the paper on the front page. Uh, There'll be cuts to uh, uh, Medicaid programs. Uh, the Washington Department of Social and Health Services are preparing to Im implement between January 1st and March 1st to achieve uh, these uh, budget cuts that are uh, in store. Uh, this is the state government, of course, and they'll, they'll eliminate coverage uh, from outpatient uh, prescription drugs to provide, uh, provide by retail pharmacies an estimated 277,000 uh, clients effective March 1st. Uh, the impact of the decision will save the state about $39.4 million in the current budget year. Uh, the, but there will be a decline in health services and increase in costs associated with more intensive services required to treat more severely ill. A lot more people will be going to hospitals. That will cost the state a lot more money. This is just an example of how this type of thing, can, uh, that you, you think you're gonna get more revenue in the short run, but it'll end up costing you more in the long run. Uh, but at least here in this article that I'm pointing out here, the state, the D, DSHS, that's the state 
government agency is admitting it. They're gonna, they have to do these cuts that I'm sure many of you have also read about, but it's going to be offset by the, these, these problems that are going to come about. So uh, I wish that, uh, you know, uh, this, I heard some discussion about this at our meeting three weeks ago. I heard nothing about this. Uh, and I also heard in our meeting that uh, there was a threat that, well, if, if we don't drastically increase the, the rates, the state of Washington might come in and take over. Uh, I have to tell you, you know, of, of course there's big uh, problems in our state government that we know about, uh, probably just about all states in this country, but I've not seen our state, and I, I do try to keep up reading the paper, the, the news, uh, with all those problems, I have not seen any kind of uh, rate increases, anything uh, uh, such as what we're going to be experiencing, and this is on top of the 14.5% uh, rate increase that we had a few months ago. I mean, it's really, it's outrageous. Uh, I think a lot of people would agree with me on that. I also heard in the last meeting three weeks ago that while we've been having uh, rate increases, uh, mild increases that, that just weren't enough, they were on, only four or five percent. Well, I have to tell you, if you know about the inflation rate in recent years, the inflation rate hasn't been uh, even four or five percent. So it's not like we were getting any kind of great deal then. So uh, anyway, that's about all I have to say. I, I do appreciate you, uh, you listening to me on this and uh, just wanted to express my thoughts about this. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Any other members of the public wishing to address the council? Larry Wagner, 62720th Street. Um, I just wanted to touch on the budget item about the $150,000 for Camas Fire to maintain their uh, ambulance service in our city. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys discussed at the planning meeting workshop that if you put it in as an amendment, then you guys can go back and revisit how it's administered and change change it or opt not to do it. So I just want to urge you as a council to make it as an amendment and then go back and read your service agreement with Camus and see what the service agreement actually says about what they're to provide. Thanks. Thank you, Larry. Mitch? Hi, Mitch Hammond Tree, 291 C Street. Does this come up at all or do it? A um, couple of things. Um, you know, I know most of you. Uh, I respect you all, all your opinions. A um, couple of things that, that I'd like to discuss. First of all, I do have a concern about Highway 14. I, I know that it's kind of late in the game. But there are a lot of concerns about, especially the crossing and across the, the, the freeway there uh, in the port and also, you know, with the hotel. Uh, some of the things I don't think, and I, maybe I didn't realize it as well, is the fact that if you miss Union Street, you're going to have to go to 15th Street to come back around. Um, all the businesses are going to have to have their signs. I, I tried to call uh, the, the uh, highway department today to find out if, in fact, that's going to be the case because in fact, my sign is going to be renewed this month. If, in fact, all of them are going to be at 15th Street or all of them are going to be there by Union Street and going 55 miles an hour, it's not like it was before where there were signals where people could see those signs. So I, I have a major concern about that. I think my builder, my landlord, should be more concerned uh, for the crossing. Um, second of all, I've discussed this with uh, Dave Shoemaker. Uh, I don't know if everybody realizes, but as of January 1, the minimum wage is going up 11 cents an hour. First of all, we had the highest rate in this country before. Now it's going up another 11 